messing up the. You want to fight me, Kevin Lovin? Let's go! <laughs> so let's get this going. Let's start Elwood's story. Okay, so, um, at least for the first couple chapters, um, Elwood does not have a lot of, uh, female characters that have okay. a lot of lines. So, because I don't want to do all of them, and I also don't want you just sitting there, um, maybe we should divvy some of them up. <laughs> okay, if I see somebody I like, I'll take him. <laughs> I mean, you can do Elwood if you want. Oh, okay. And who knows, maybe you'll see Lynn again. And by the way, if Lynn dies, <laughs> implying <laughs> that you will, in fact, see her again. Once dragon fought man in a war called the Scouring. Inquish the dragons thanks to the efforts of eight heroes. These eight mighty generals brought peace to El Ellaby? Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, like Linda Ellaby. Oh, yeah. The continent was divided into nations, and the people enjoyed an easy prosperity. Hero Hartmut settled in the east and founded Bern, famed for its military might. Saint Elemony moved west and her sacred name flourished among the artisans of Etruria. Horseman Hannon's legacy lived on with the nomads of his beloved plains of Sakai. The birthplace of the knight Berrigan is now home to the renowned knights of Ilya. Berserker Durbin's final glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Western Isles. Arc Sage Athos is said to have retired to the barren wasteland of Nabata. heirs of the champion Roland themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. Willoughby has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. How much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble? <laughs> Within the Lycian League lies Frey. A land that is, has known no conflict. Many generations, but which now finds itself touched by a shadow of unease. The beloved and benevolent ruler, Lord Elbert, has mysteriously vanished. As have a number of his sworn men, loyal knights who serve at his side. Month has passed without word from the Marquess. Rumors of his death abound. However, the Marquess's son believes his father lives to find him. Son Elwood, a red haired youth who will one day find his knight in all of Lycia. I love that it has to like specify that he has red hair. Like... You know, like I see him. <laughs> Long journey begins here. I'm glad that my long narration ended there. <laughs> Lord, Lord Elwood, we leave on your word. See, thank you, Marcus. So we have Marcus and Marquess. 
mother, it's time for us to go. Is the hero returned to me safely? I'm worried about your father, but... If anything were to happen to you... My heart could not bear that sorrow. No, mother. Please do not worry. Father is alive. I know it. I vow that I will find him and return him to your side. I have your word then. Yes, of course. Medora, I entrust my mother to you in my absence. My lord, I will guard over her well. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. Hi, Stella. Oh, well, Marcus, it looks like it's just the two of us. Not so, my lord. My man, my man, my man Hello. Lowen, <laughs> my man Lowen will be traveling with us. Lowen? That's reassuring. Stella, I sent him ahead to the village. He hopes to seek out a few able men who are skilled at arms. Normally, I wouldn't venture forth without a larger company, but... I will bow to your will on this matter, Lord Elwood. Sorry, Marcus, but I would rather not deprive my mother of even a single guard. The realm disappeared with my father. If anything were to happen to my mother while I'm gone, I... I never should have taken Stella outside. I think I know what she wants. <laughs> she wants me to take her outside. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I'm not just going to let you out there to roam, because you don't know your way back home. And I am not going to go out there and, and stay with you, so... Sorry, babe. You're just going to have to get used to it. I understand, my lord. <laughs> What's keeping Lowen? Do you hear her? Is, is the mic picking her up? Or no. Okay. She's just like... Meow. <laughs> We've all heard that the Knights of Foray have vanished, right? Well, your misfortune is my good luck. I have an announcement to make. As of now, this village is mine! Grozny? Grozny. Groz Grozny? Grozny is... I'm your new liege! <laughs> Now bring every last piece of gold down to the smallest fleck. Lord Elwood, C Commander Marcus, I... Lowen, calm yourself. A knight must be in control at all times. The village is under attack. It's bandits. You see them. <laughs> right? What? Bandits? Here? Are you sure, Lowen? Can you see them? <laughs> this girl has more details. Hey, Lord Elwood. I'm Liz Magistrate. My name's Rebecca. And it came without warning. They're stealing everything. I beg you, please help us. See. Marcus, Lowen, we must aid the village. Yes, my lord. Rebecca, stay here and keep out of sight. It seems me, my lord, I would rather fight. I hunt almost every day and I have some skill with a bow. Is that so? Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. Lord Elwood, one more thing. There is another in the village who has offered to help. A traveling tactician who was staying at the inn. Tactician? Yes, my lord. This is Violet. Violet! Do you know this person, my lord? Yes, I met Violet during the trouble in Caelan last year. 
military advisor at Memory Serves. Not for Violet, the Marquess of Palin and his granddaughter. Lynn might not have survived Dwarf Wundgren's uprising. My friend. Oh, still traveling about, honing your skills. Of course, a worthy pursuit. Let's give thanks to Providence for our chance reunion. Hey, please lend us your skill. Oh my god, how many more people are gonna show up? There we go, okay. Yes, I can. Alright, so this is the second half of the game. Well, not half, because it's longer than Lynn's, but... Longer than Lynn's story. But, yeah, Dev Rebecca. This is more, seriously, like, how does he see? <laughs> how? I'm not sure he even has eyes. Like, <laughs> they're not drawn underneath the hair. Yeah. There's, like, some spots where his bangs are parting and you should be able to see his eyes, but yep, you can't. But you don't. <laughs> Stella, shut up. Come here. He, he, there are his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you... When you get a chance, can you hover over him so I can see his little picture? Okay. Fine, I'll give you some pet and stuff. Good girl. Good cute. Look, Dorcas! Can you believe it? It's just like that knight said. That's Lord Elwood. So it seems. What's he doing? Hey, he's taking on those bandits! Protecting innocence, that's a right lordly thing to do, isn't it? You win it? <laughs> yeah, that's a right lordly thing to do, isn't it? Right, Dorcas? <laughs> you talk too much. The lordling needs our help. Right! <laughs> Leave these mountain weaklings to me. I'm Bar Bartry the Brave. That's a right lordly thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> you can't see his eyes there either. Oh, yep, no, they're completely gone there, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the character design in these older Fire Emblem games. <laughs> Yeah, they're all unique, I will give them that. Yeah. No two characters are quite alike. Hmm. Oh, yes. I'm trying to think. Bartry has more strength and defense. But Dorcas has more skill and speed. But he's also three levels ahead of Bartree, so any of those might go up. I'm trying to think, like, which one I should use more. Um. Oh. I feel like Bartree would be more of a heavy hitter. I. This is not. This is not part of the game I play. <laughs> Albert well. Nothing but foul rumors hereabouts. All of Foray is worried for his well-being. We hear tell that Lord Elwood is going to find the Marquess. This dragon shield is our village treasure. It boosts the defenses of the one who uses it. It is... And may it see you and Lord Albert home safely.
<clears throat> You've got some skill with weapons, but do you understand weapon levels? We don't need to. We don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> Typically, um, this this guy is like an archetype in this game, and I, on pretty much every game, there's like a. Remember how I promoted Sane into one of these dudes? Oh yeah. There's there's typically at least one in like the opening chapters of a, pretty much any given Fire Emblem game that is already promoted, um, and so he has like boosted stats compared to the rest of the characters. Um, but because you get him so early and because you can't train him up before promoting him, um, he's, he basically just becomes an experienced sponge. So like, like, see, he killed that dude and all, only got four experience points. So oh, he doesn't gotcha. really grow very much. So you want to not use him very much. There's a young traveler been staying with the magistrate been staying in the village for a few days now. I know you're thinking it's just another good-for-nothing courtier looking for a handout, but there's something more to this one. Those eyes, they miss nothing. Got a mission that one has. I wonder who they're talking about. Me? <clears throat> Oh, legit, is it me? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, was no, it's, it's, okay. it's definitely me. I'm pretty sure. That was like the character we were about to go meet, or if it was me. Oh, nope. It's you. It's you. Hmm. Wow, his defense is actually a lot better than I thought it was. What does BWL mean? Which one? BWL. Oh, uh, battles, wins, and losses. Ah. Yep. It's basically just their, like, their, their, uh, their stats. Gotcha. Yes. Can this dude fucking hit anything? Maybe I should just use Dorcas. A pack of children coming to play? You think you can challenge me? What? Three and knights? But that's impossible! was finally turning around. Hmm. 
you'd have better luck if you didn't have a habit of just walking into places and saying you own them now. <laughs> Who should I give this dragon shield to? Who do you think? Um... I don't know if I'm really gonna use and pretty much any of these guys except Elwood, so I guess it's always good to have Elwood get some defense. That's a good point. And then I also have a, an energy ring. I guess I'm just going to give that to Elwood as well. Yeah, you might as well. <clears throat> ah, you would be Lord Elwood, yes? Our deepest thanks for coming to the aid of our fair village. Nothing of it. It's a lord's duty to protect the citizenry. Would that were true, my lord. Uh, the good folk of Laos know no such protection. Their Marquess, Lord Darren, is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all complaints of bandits and thieves. But maybe they're just stealing stuff so that they can see in the fog. <laughs> Preparing for war, are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lived in Laos until a few days ago. His home was torched and he had no choice but to flee here. According to him, Laos could go to war any day now. It's all the people of Laos are talking about. Lord Elwood, if this is true, the situation is a grave one. If Marquess Laos is ready for war, his target is most likely another Lycian territory. Perhaps this is connected to Lord Elbert's disappearance. The father and Marquess Laos? It was connection, but it's as good a start as any. Let us travel to Laos. We must learn more. Guidance, Violet. What are for next? If you have no destination in mind, perhaps you could travel with us group with a single purpose, to find my father. Our road will lead, but with you in our company. I'm still you know, chopping off the beginnings. We would be stronger with you in our company. You will travel with us? Splendid! That's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I pray we give you no cause to regret your decision. Rebecca, where do you think you're going, young lady? Father, I... I intend to accompany Lord Elwood. Don't be ridiculous, girl. Lord Elwood is not going on a picnic. He's riding into danger. Know that, Father. That's why I want to go. We owe him our lives, and I want to repay him. Bow may not be all that much, but I know I can be a service. But... Father, I may meet up with my brother somewhere. You're the magistrate. You have responsibilities. This, sir. Need to do this. Please, Father, let me go. Dear me, you're just as stubborn as your mother was. I'm sorry, Father. You must bow to Lord Elwood's wishes on this matter. If he, cons uh, if he consents, you may go. Thank you, Father. Lord Elbert has always been kind to us. Follow his son with a true heart, Rebecca. I said a healthy snack, Rebecca. <laughs> Serve Lord Elwood well, as I have served his father. Well, Father. I just, just, every time I, I see Rebecca, I either think of our friend Rebecca or that vine. I yeah, I keep thinking of our friend Rebecca. <laughs> After speaking with the village magistrate, Elwood and company set their sights on Laos. Road from Foray to Laos passes through San Santa Cruz. Elwood suspects his missing father must have visited Santa Cruz 
and route to Ostia. Elwood arranges a meeting with the local ruling lord to see what he can learn. What? Elwood is here? Yes, he has set camp up on a hill south of here. He seeks permission to enter Centaurus. He seeks an audience with you. Could it be? Do you think Elwood's come to ask of his father? If that's the case, I, I know not what to tell him. Tell him you know nothing, and let him be on his way. Yet, I know young Elwood well. His father, Elbert, and I are good friends. I've no children of my own, and I've always treasured Elwood. I do not believe I could look him in the eye, and I, I could not lie to him. I could not. We've no choice, then. Let us chase the boy away. If you do not speak with him, you need tell no lies. Wait, do you mean to harm Elwood? Not harm, frighten. A scratch or two will leave no scars. He will run home to Foray and be done with his adventure. He is, after all, all that Foray has left. <clears throat> Instead of entering Laos with such a small group, we should meet with Marquess Santaruz and request his assistance. I, uh, I see the sense in that. It's a good plan, Violet. Surely so. I tell you again, I'm pleased to have you with us. Lord Hellman. He's not only my father's friend, I've known him since I was a child. Help us. What? Lord Elwood, beware! Heh <laughs> heh noble sirs. Alms for a poor villager. Poor villager, you look nothing like an honest man. Clear the road. Step quickly, or... Step quickly? <laughs> Good advice. Maybe it's you who should follow it. What? Someone wants the boy in an early grave. A shame if you ask me, but he'll die here today. Come on, boys. Earn your keep. I love how he says, like, I'm gonna kill Elwood, so he runs away. Here we go again, eh, Violet? Just like old times. Seems our fates are bound. Natalie? Oh, she's still in foray. I'm working for you this time, so she's not too worried. Guide my axe, Violet. Hmm, you look like you've some experience with battle. No need to conceal it. I've fought in many a battle in my time, I assure you. Let me tell you one thing about combat, though. The most important thing is technique. If you've no skill, you'll rarely strike your enemy. My instructor gave me this secret book long ago. It will improve the fighting prowess of the one who reads it. I'm too old to make use of it, so why don't you take it? A secret book. Thanks, my dude. important to trust your companions, yes? If you have a boon companion fighting at your side, you're and more confident. I think make good companions for whom? Fortune teller, so I could do a reading, but... Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, then. It was really weird. Yeah.
I saw them, I did. About a month ago. Marquess Ferre and his men passed right through here. They've all gone missing, haven't they? A group as strong as that just up and vanishing? Couldn't have been bandits, but I don't believe it. Must have been something terrible. This world's a dangerous place it has. Become a dangerous place it has. Bah, he puts up a good fight for a pampered noble pup. It's up to me to finish him. I, if it was up to you to finish him, why would you run halfway across the map? How many, How many are, are there? Oh, that's right. That's, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. This looks. Hey, what's going on over there? Looks like some rough business. You, soldier, are you just going to stand there and watch? Who do you think you are? This is Santeruz. What occurs here is no f affair of any foreign lordling. I believe I'm going to have to disagree with you. You see, the man they're attacking happens to be a friend of mine. A friend? What? Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Ew, that's terrible. I loathe violence. Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighter born. I cannot condone resorting to force so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First, we deal with these brigands. Come, we must help Elwood. Help Elwood? Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Oswin! Yes, yes, I'm coming. Matthew, take Sarah and find some place to hide. What? With Sarah? No! I'm going with you! You are not! You'll slow us down. <laughs> How rude! <laughs> Oswin, let's go! Are you happy you got to play as Sarah Ew, again? <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck you. Marquess, who leads Santa Cruz, is Lord Hellman. He doesn't ask for much, and he's a nice enough fellow. I wouldn't call him weak, but he is more follower than leader. He's been meeting with Marquess Laos quite a lot. I hope nothing bad comes of it, but... Well, foreshadowing. Iron Axe, 
Axe Hammer, I guess that's kind of another sword. Elwood, are you all right? Hector, what are you? Later. First, let's take care of these louts. Right. Oh boy. What does he have? Thirteen. How much did you do? Eleven. Of course. Ugh. Fuck yeah! That is literally exactly what I wanted to happen. Cool. He got a critical hit, which means triple damage. Awesome. Jeez. He had like a 3% chance of landing a critical hit too, so like that was pretty impressive. That's awesome. Both times you missed. God damn it, Hector. Yikes, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna do that. Curses! What are you waiting for? Let me show you boys how it's done. After this chapter, I might need to stop. I'm kind of losing focus. Okay, yeah, no problem. Did I miss or did I hit? I think I hit. I don't know. Maybe we can do some more later tonight. I just need at least a little bit of a break. No, I get you. was not so easy as it seemed.
Phew. Is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well met, El Elwood. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wound me! How do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marquess Ostia. <clears throat> busy setting up his court council. Must need your support. You are his brother, after all. I missed the first half of that. Lord Uther must need your support. You are his brother, after all. My brother is not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but he knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well, then it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. Good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. You know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Elwood. It's good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well. No, I didn't. I'm not actually here. <laughs> yes, Lord Uther was worried about Lord Hector traveling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> of course. Good to have you with us. Lord Hector! Fighting was done! I apologize for the interruption. I couldn't restrain her any longer. That's me. Are these your companions, Hector? Oh, yes, I suppose they are. One might have hoped for better, but... It wasn't called for! I can't believe you said that! You hear what he said about you? <laughs> me? He was talking about you! Hector, why don't you introduce us? The noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I am Sarah, my lord. Pleased to meet you. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around, my lord. S that's you. Sneaking around. Well, I uh, gather information, open doors, chests, and such. I've got nimble fingers. That sounds like a thief's work. Well, don't let it worry you. But... This journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagine. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. A league of assassins from Bern has been moving around in Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. It reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Lord Elwood, if I may. Marcus, good to see you. Lord Hector, it's been far too long. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus, no need for such formalities. Tell me what you heard. Of course. The apparent leader of that gang of thugs, he indicated that someone was watching Lord Elwood, that someone needed him dead. Hmm, that is troubling. Actually, a captain of the guard was watching the fight when we arrived. He was a knight of Santaruz. And yet, he just stood there and let a lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. So, Violet, what do you think? Might be right. <laughs> Thing may have happened to Lord Hellman, too. Come, we must hurry to the castle. Elwood, who is this? This is Violet. Fired tactical aid in the search for my father, and... Oh, I see. So this is who directed the battle plan back there, hmm? You know, Violet, you're very young. We've many strategists in Ostia, but none so young. What if somebody was, like, 90 years old and playing this game? You know! <laughs> Elwood, are you sure about this one? Elwood is still a student of military strategy, but... We've received nothing but sound advice so far. Except for that one time that Kent died. <laughs> Violet has my trust. 
All right. I suppose I shall witness your skills firsthand. Well met, Violet. No, that's me. Hello. How have you been, Matthew Violet? If you want. I like him. Oh yeah, you can take him. Okay. Eh? My secrets revealed? Oh, that. Yes, it's true. This is a common thief was but a ruse. I've served House Sassia for some time as a spy of sorts. Well, regardless, it looks like we'll be traveling together again. Survival. <laughs> oh, this is Sarah. This is you. <laughs> is it really you? It's been far, far too long! Didn't you? Of course you did. I knew it. <laughs> huh? Didn't I tell you before? I'm in the employee of Ostia, Lycia's ruling territory. I'll be here to help you just like before. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> all right, cool. So, uh, I guess that'll all be all right. for for right now then. Very stoked to have Sarah again. That yeah. made me very happy. And I like Matthew a lot, too, so getting them both back at the same time was fun. Yeah.